Alright, let's get right into it. So, Bournemouth in shocking form, and Crystal Palace in very good form. Starting off with Bournemouth, um, you know, they didn't really do much defending in the first 12 minutes. Um, Crystal Palace were kind of defending deep. Um, so Bournemouth were the ones that had possession and were troubling Crystal Palace. Uh, which is staggering because Bournemouth conceded in the 12th minute from a, cre from a free kick that went in off the bar. Um, once again, don't give away free kicks around the box. You're just asking for trouble. That's all I need to say about that. Um, but yeah, just 11 minutes later, Bournemouth conceded again in the 23rd minute. They, Bournemouth seemed to have trouble on the right side, um, and that's where Crystal Palace were doing their attacks when they had possession. Um, so what happens was what happened was Crystal Palace were you know doing intricate moves, passing the ball around. Um, somehow Van Aanholt managed to free himself. A through ball passed into him. He passed the ball back inside, and the ball was slotted home by Ayu. Um, a very 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 good goal actually. Um, even though I couldn't completely follow what happened with that goal when I first watched it. Um, on the replay, you can actually kind of take about take apart the move and what actually happened. But, um, you know, I'm just trying to think, you know, what mistake did Bournemouth make um, during this period? Um, I think what they did wrong was, I guess, just not picking up runners. But also, um, y you know... <laughs> You've got to be tighter on players. I mean, when you let players pass the ball around like this, um, you know, they're going to figure out how to get past you, and, you know, you're just asking for trouble. But having said that, you know, it's a tough goal to... Uh, it was a tough it was a tough goal to um, uh, defend, I guess. So I guess I can't really criticise them too much. And, you know, really, Crystal Palace... You know, after this period, Crystal Palace didn't really trouble Bournemouth much. It was... It was a game where both sides had spells of possession, but not really many chances. And, um, yeah, that's all I can really say for Bournemouth. They conceded two very good goals, but they were both preventable. Talking about Crystal Palace, um, you know, they didn't really do any, any defending in the first 10 minutes, or even in the first half. I mean, um, you know, there were a couple of dangerous situations, but, you know, the keeper wasn't really troubled, so I guess it wasn't really... Uh, that big of a deal. Excuse me. Um, same thing in the second half. Not really much to worry about. You know, that's spells of possession. Bournemouth had spells of possession. Uh, both teams gave up the ball. Um, yeah, just a very, um, you know, just a, I guess you could say it's a solid defensive performance, but Bournemouth didn't really trouble Crystal Palace that much. So, um, so yeah. Um, anything else to talk about? Um, well, yeah, Bournemouth, uh, they're in big, big trouble. Watching this match, um, I don't see how they get out of the bottom three. I mean, I haven't seen their fixture list, but um, they're really going to have to do lots of work on the training ground because they're really up against it. And Crystal Palace, um, apparently now they're fighting for a European spot, which seems to have come out of nowhere, but... Um, if they continue playing football like this, um, yeah, I guess anything's possible. Alright, that's about it.